This Let's Edit with Media Composer tutorial is brought to you by VideoGuys.com, the leading reseller of video editing and production equipment for more than 25 years. And by Boris FX, a leading developer of visual effect plugins, titling, video editing, and workflow tools for broadcast, post-production, and film professionals. Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here and I am back again with another Let's Edit with Avid Media Composer tutorial and we're continuing our discussion of the new 2019.6 release of Avid Media Composer and in this lesson we're talking about the changes that have happened with bins. With the project window going the way of the dodo, the bin window needs to be set up slightly differently and I want to make sure that you understand exactly what you're seeing when you first launch the application. All right, so let's Command or Alt and tab into Avid Media Composer. Now, let's talk about what is going on with our bins, because you'll notice that we have what appears to be the project window or something similar to the project window on the left, and we have a bin, basically the bin that is open right now, represented on the right-hand side of that window. So what the heck is going on here? Well, what's important to keep in mind is that with the... Um, you know, the dissolving of the project window or the removal of the project window, we now need to have a container to hold our bins in. So that is what this window represents. So this bin container has two sides. On the left side is the bin container project sidebar pane. So basically, all the bins that are in my project will appear on the left-hand side of this window. On the right hand side is the bin pane. So for example, if I don't have any bins open, the bin pane will just be empty. And I can say, well, you know what? I don't necessarily need to see that anymore. So I'm just going to hide it over like such. Now at any given point, if I decide that I do want to open a bin and I double click, you'll notice that Media Composer will automatically make that bin appear inside of the bin pane. Now let's talk a little bit about something that appears as though we've lost, but we haven't quite lost it. And that is the ability to get in and use the drop down menu to do things like empty the trash, create new bins, open bins, if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcuts. Well, we still have all of that functionality in the drop down located on the upper right hand corner of our project sidebar, which I'm just going to refer to as the project sidebar from now on. You'll see again, open bin, new bin, new folder, close project, etc, etc. We also have the fast menu for our bins now located in the upper right hand corner of the bin where we can get in, create new sequences, obviously sift through our bins, change background colors, you know, choose columns and things like that. Now let's also talk about what's happened to the top of our bin window, which used to be represented down at the bottom of the bin window. The first one, if I drop it down, is my bin views. We can obviously get in, quickly change them, and then obviously create our own bin views if we want. Now beside that, what we have the ability to do is to get in and change the display of the bin, in this case to change between text mode, frame mode, or last but certainly not least, script mode. Now we're going to get in and talk a little bit about frame mode in just a little while because I want to show you a cool new feature that you now have the ability to do inside of this view. But for us to get rolling, we are going to need some footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to right click. I'm going to say input. I'm going to come to our source browser. I'm just going to import all of this footage into this bin and we're eventually going to break this footage up and have it appear across multiple bins. Now one last thing that I want to draw your attention to here, and what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come into my choose columns. I'm going to select everything and nothing. I'm going to come into duration, end, and start. Let me just get down to start here. Perfect. There we go. I'll say OK. Very nice. This just keeps my bin a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say organized, just easier to work with. And of course what we can do is come down. I'm just going to call this clips. And keep in mind, if at any time we wanted to remove those other bin views, no problem. You'll remember that keyboard shortcut, Command, Shift, and Equal Sign, Control, Shift, and Equal Sign for all of my Windows friends out there. Let's just come to our user settings. Let's come to our bin views. We're going to keep that clips bin view. I'll just delete all the other ones. And now we only have that bin view in our bins. 
okay? So let's now create a new bin. Of course, the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control and N on the keyboard, you'll see the new bin appears not only over here inside of my project sidebar, but the bin has also appeared as a tabbed window at the top of the bin pane. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate working in tabbed bins. It drives me crazy. I'd really rather just be able to see all of the bins in one shot. Now, how we used to do this is we used to just open 10 or 15 bins and have them all kind of positioned beside each other. And I'm gonna be honest with you, anything that was docked in the past, whether I was working in Premiere or any other application, I hated it. It just drove me crazy. But I gotta say, inside of Media Composer now, these docked bins is a fantastic way to work. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to drag our window, our bin pane window over like such, just to give us the maximum amount of space here. Very nice. All right. Now we can get in and we can float this bin if we want by simply just grabbing it and separating it from the other bin. We can now take it, do whatever we want with it. Now what's actually kind of cool, and this is a concept that's a little bit tricky for you to wrap your head around when you start working in Media Composer 2019.6. And that is at any given time, if I don't want to see my project sidebar, I don't have to. I can just drag this out of the way here. And let's just say that even with this bin here, you know what, I'm just going to close this bin. Let's just close it up all together here. Perfect. Well, now the question is, how do I get back access to my project sidebar? You know, because I just closed that bin and I don't seem to have access to it. What's important to keep in mind is that every bin that you open is actually a bin container. And it actually contains both that project sidebar and the bin pane. If I want to see the project sidebar, all I got to do is just expose it like such, or I can actually come over here and just hide it like that. So this is a new and very different way to work when you're working in Media Composer. Let's just open that bin up again. Now you'll see that we have everything appearing inside of this window here. I can just close that. Now what I can do is I can simply dock this back over here beside the Composer window like such, exactly the way that we had things before. But let's get in, let's talk about docking these windows because for me, that's really where you start to get a lot faster in your workflow. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this bin. What I should do is actually give these bins some names here. I'm just gonna call this bin Clips 1, Clips 1, and we'll call this one Clips 2. And we'll create a new one called appropriately enough Clips 3. Okay, and that's the last one because to be honest, I don't need that many clips bins here. So we'll call this clips three. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take clips two. Actually, let's take clips one and I'm going to take this and I'm going to separate it and I'm going to drag it right down here to the bottom of the window and I'm going to attach it like such. Now you'll see that this bin is going to take up most of the window like such, but if I drag down now, you'll see that it's actually docked in there with clips three. I can now take clips two and I'm going to dock it over here like such. So now basically what I have the ability to do is to really get in and start organizing things very quickly. Having your bins dock like this is really, to be honest, like an exponential workflow enhancer. It's literally going to make you be able to edit faster than you ever have before. And what's exceptionally important to keep in mind is that, it, is that at any point what you can actually do is just undock those from anywhere that you happen to have them. So for example, if I had a second window and what I wanted to do is I wanted to have all 18, 19, 20 of my bins, let's just say I had a really big monitor, tabbed just like this over on a secondary monitor. This is how you can now easily get in and just switch back and forth between bins lightning quick. And remember at any time if you need to open more bins, no problem, you can always come right over here to the sidebar, pull the sidebar out, and have access to all of those bins literally with a click of a mouse, okay? So that's really how you're gonna now have to start to wrap your head around how bins work. Again, like I said, you can work with them three ways. You can work with them docked, you can work with them floating, or you can work with them tabbed. Personally, I work all the time now with all my bins docked together because I find it just really enhances my speed and my workflow. Okay, so let's talk about another very cool feature inside of our bin window, and that is the bin map. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put everything back into one bin because this is a little bit easier for me to show it to you when I have them all laid out like such. And what we're also going to do is just dock everything back the way that we had it before. Perfect. What I should probably do is just hit that old workspace button just to get everything back 
the way that we like it with our edit workspace. Now, to show this to you, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch over to frame view. And you're gonna notice that when I switch over to frame view, it actually kind of looks like there's a bug happening here, okay? You're gonna notice this sort of weird little white box. And what I'm going to do here with my bin is I'm just going to fill the window like such, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shrink everything down. Let's just shrink it right down. Now it's a little bit easier to see what exactly is going on now, now that I've shrunk that window down. Okay. A lot of editors, the way that they like to work, and I should probably just start moving as many of these clips out of the way as I can. And I'm kind of spoiling the surprise here because you can see exactly what's happening now as I move these clips out of the way is that what we now have the ability to do, and let me just take these here, and I think I'm just going to, I think that's actually okay. I can now zoom in. Let's pull a few more out of the way here before I do this, okay? Because what editors will do, what I was getting at here, is they will start to organize clips like this. They'll put light clips together, light cutaways together in groups, okay? Kind of like this. Now, granted, I should probably have a little bit more space in between these. And what I really want to do at any given point is just focus on certain ones. Now I should probably have aligned these a little bit better. I could do that after the fact if I want to, but it doesn't really matter, okay? Okay, that's good. What I now have the ability to do is instead of grabbing the slide bars on the right side or the bottom of the bin window, what I can now do is just simply grab my bin map and start dragging it around and see whatever area of the bin that I need to see. A very cool feature that was added, like I said, especially for editors that are very visual, like to get in, like to group clips together, to be able to see the thumbnails. So they have all the light clips or light cutaways, you know, together in one place. This is a great and dynamic way to get in and look at those clips very quickly and very easily. All right, so I think I've talked enough in this lesson about bin containers and how you're going to work with them inside of 2019.6 of Media Composer. Let's move on now to our last lesson where I'm gonna talk about the new inspector inside of Media Composer, as well as a bunch of miscellaneous updates that you're definitely going to want to be aware of. All right, now as we're wrapping up, I wanna remind you to check out our sponsors, Video Guys, for all of your Avid software and hardware, as well as thousands of other products that you can check out over at videoguys.com. I also wanna give a big shout out to the team at Boris FX, makers of BCC, Sapphire, and Mocha. And don't forget to use that coupon code of MC101 to get 10% off your next BCC license. And if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.